so welcome all so already we have covered two topics in unit one one is on science and engineering then we also have covered uh, another lecture on i versus camera so now we are on the third topic of unit one this is uh, comparing birds and uh, aircraft okay so uh, all of you would have seen these two categories so one is like birds and we have like uh, aircraft okay so i have put up few points here so we are just going to have a, a uh, discussion on this birds and aircraft okay common things between these two things and what is a difference between these two things okay this is what we are going to discuss in this particular session so first i'll start with this word fly okay so common between this uh, bird and the uh, flight is both flies okay so uh, you can uh, uh, I give you a few activities like now you can think of there are a few birds which doesn't fly okay the aircraft usually will fly so there is like no aircraft that doesn't fly maybe if it's get repaired it can't fly but it will fly apart from that okay but uh, there are few birds which can't fly uh, for a longer period okay for example if you uh, take an example of a hen okay hen doesn't fly for a longer time okay maybe like it quickly flies and comes down again okay it won't actually fly okay so likewise there are a lot of uh, birds okay that doesn't actually fly okay but commonly most of the birds will fly okay so uh, that's the first thing if you uh, think up that will come between this birds and the aircraft second thing okay that is landing okay so you have seen a flight uh, landing okay so in airports it comes to the runway it lands okay and uh, for long, some time it will run in that runway then it lands okay so that is the routine uh, landing you would have seen in movies and uh, even sometimes in real you would have seen a, a flight or like a helicopter landing in okay but if you take the example of a bird okay how it lands okay it doesn't run uh, okay and uh, stop okay or land okay immediately it will hold on to a, a branch of a tree or like to some surface okay on a building it will just directly land with its feet okay so in flight there is a thing called as landing gear okay so which opens only when the uh, flight is going to land okay similarly in the birds it has its legs okay to land over some particular uh, area okay third thing that is uh, wings which is the uh, most common thing between this birds and this aircraft okay so every birds have feathers which we call it as wings okay so on both sides on right and left okay which helps this uh, birds to uh, fly okay so uh, this based on this only some people came up with the idea of this uh, wings in your uh, flights okay so similarly here also we have two wings okay which helps the uh, flight to uh, fly okay so there are few aircraft which doesn't have a proper wings like a bird okay or like this airplane if you take an example of a helicopter helicopter actually doesn't have a wing similar to your aircraft but it has a diff uh, different way of thing that is it has a rotor blade in the top Okay, which is going to swing up and it's going to fly up okay so this is an interesting fact related to our wings okay uh, then coming to this side okay so what are all few uh, differences between these two things okay we'll start with this one that is pilot okay so aircraft usually run with the help of a pilot there are maybe like nowadays there are a lot of uh, automated aircrafts like uh, those used in militaries or like space research there are like auto autopilots available okay so you don't need actually need a pilot to uh, drive a aircraft okay so but most of the fly aircrafts that we usually know are like need a pilot to uh, drive it okay but here uh, upon a bird nobody is going to sit and make the bird fly birds are like a living being it's not a non-living thing so birds automatically is going to uh, pilot itself okay second one is fuel okay so aircraft needs fuel lots and lots of fuel to travel to distance places okay 
what is a fuel birds doesn't going to take up a petrol or diesel so it's going to it needs some energy that's it like us it also eats some foods gains energy from that foods using which it's going to travel so it needs water and basically a food for its as a fuel okay the next one is gps okay so you know what is a gps what is the purpose of a gps okay so to uh, locate the area where you want to travel okay or to map okay it's like a map okay so usually uh, in a aircraft they have a gps radar all those things to locate where they are flying in which particular latitude longitude all those things so how to travel how to take a right left how to land where to land everything okay so with the help of a uh, gps software embedded in their aircrafts okay birds whether do the birds have a gps or those birds whether they use a google map or like any day that they don't have a map in their hand but how these birds actually uh, fly properly you could, you could see like uh, there are like some birds which we call it a seasonal birds they fly from uh, one part of a continent to another part of a, another continent okay so they cross lots of uh, oceans rivers lots of countries and they travel to some place okay even in india you could see uh, during some season from uh, a bird from an antarctica or some other regions of africa they fly long way and come to like places in uh, chennai or some places how this happens okay so because they have a, a thing like gps inside their brain okay so which makes them to know how to travel where to travel and everything okay so these are six common points which we need to know about the birds okay so uh, apart from that i want to share few other uh, thoughts that you want to think upon about this particular topic so like uh, now you can think upon few basic aspects be uh, between this birds and aircraft like uh, what is the material of the wings in a bird as well as in a aircraft then uh, how a bird like uh, starts it uh, fly you could see a aircraft it runs in a runway then it takes off okay but birds whether do they take off like running in a runway you could see just imagine there are few birds like hen it needs to run for some time then it takes off but not all birds do like that okay there are birds directly they lift off from the branches of tree or anywhere okay so try to correlate between these two things what all points okay there these six points that i have mentioned in this uh, uh, slide for you is just a basic uh, thing that's it there are a few more things or much more things that you can explore between these two things okay what is the fastest uh, uh, bird you can see like an ostrich okay whether uh, it runs faster okay but it won't flies okay it doesn't fly in a very uh, faster way so likewise you can see there are few different thing aircraft which is like the fastest one so you could see there is a like jet uh, jets which travels very faster so try to compare uh, the various aspects between these birds and aircraft okay so this is not a topic to like uh, by heart or to write some points okay so this is just uh, observe okay so that's what uh, we are learning the science of biology okay try to observe as much as points from this birds and aircraft okay thank you